All right, chat. Hello? Hi. I am a little knackered, yeah. <laughs> uh, hello, hello. A lot there, Mr. Hater. Hello. Is this God? This is Nerd God. I don't know. Who's Jack Harkness? Hello. Yes. Yes, Nerd God for the win. Um, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Uh, <clears throat> I have a script that would be perfect for Dark Hero Studios. How can I get it to you? Send it to um, darkherostudios at gmail.com. Greetings, Denmark. Welcome. Uh, I can see the chat. Thank you. You're saying I look good today, uh, but I just woke up and I'm a little uh, disheveled, so I apologize for that. What was it like doing the Cecily Nerd News thing? It was awesome. And Cecily is a good friend of mine, and we really had a lot of fun. Will you have my man children with me? I would, but that is a um, biological impossibility. Uh, greetings from the Wisconsin Cheesehead. Well, welcome, Wisconsin Cheesehead. Hello, hola, Puerto Rico. Como esta? May I make you some tea or coffee? I could go for some coffee. Uh, we all just woke up. How long do you plan on chatting? Um, I guess until I get exhausted. At least half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. How does it feel to be the man? Very manly. Hello, Singapore. I have been to Singapore, actually. Unfortunately, I came straight from Thailand. Uh, I'd like two sugars in my coffee. Hello? Hello? Hey, sorry guys. Um, yes, it was the Patriots. Do I find myself sexier during the Guyver era or now? Well, more confident now, better looking then. Uh, can I see you? Amanda Gear? no, I cannot see you. But I wish I could. Um, I would go to FushiCon in the UK in November if I knew what that was. Um, the voice of Lupin the uh, Third. What did you think of Bob Bergen's take on Lupin? If you've seen it, I haven't seen Bob Bo B B Bergen's take on Lupin. Um, the only thing I know about is the movie that I did, and I just did it because I was working at this studio that was that was making um, uh, translations of those movies. I was just lucky enough to get that part. Will I ever visit the UK? I come to the UK. Uh, a fair bit for business, so uh, next time I go I will let uh, fans know over Twitter that I'm there. Uh, does it hurt to do the snake voice? No, it does not. It's, it, it hurts so good. Uh, yeah, uh, what if any, any I can't tell you if I'm working on any Metal Gear projects. Um, who is this fucking idiot? I, if you don't know who I am, I, I would have trouble explaining it. Um, oh man, it's David Hayter. Castle Cagliostro has been redubbed more times than any movie I can think of. Sure. Uh, oh yeah, and then I was, um, when I was in uh, Singapore, I had just come back from Thailand. I had a terrible intestinal disease, so that was um, not uh, as much fun as it could have been. My next YouTube video involved less clothes and more whipped cream. I will certainly take that under advisement. Uh, how will you get an agent for the next movie? I, I didn't really read that, but uh, I already have an agent. You can finally end this dispute between me and my buddy. Are you half Canadian? I am half Canadian. It is my lower half, so uh, my balls are Canadian. What am I working on these days? Uh, many, many things. Uh, I have a couple of movies that I'm attached to direct. I'm writing some things and um, I'm working on Star Wars The Old Republic. 
Uh, Canadian Bulls, yes. Did you enjoy the scrapbook? I enjoyed my scrap, my birthday scrapbook quite a bit. Uh, it was very sweet. It was put together by fans, and, and it was awesome. Any good stories you can share when you are recording for voice roles? Uh, no. How am I handling Silent Hill? I'm not in Silent Hill, although people ask me if I did the voice that's in the... Um, uh, in the uh, trailer, and it really sounds like me. So they might have used my voice, but I, I didn't know about it. Will I visit Puerto Rico one day? I would love to, love to go to Puerto Rico. What uh, happened to money? About all the oil in the world disappearing. You have to ask Paramount what happened to the movie about the oil in the world disappearing. I heard you about you when you were in Guyver too, but I never saw you after. Then you came to be Solid Snake. How did you score a job? I just auditioned for Solid Snake. I was lucky enough to, to, to get it. Um, my thoughts about the Metal Gear birthday video you guys did for me, I was extremely touched and I thought it was hilarious and um, and I appreciated it immensely. Uh, I was in that scrapbook. I wrote a page on how you kept me going through life. Well, good. I'm glad. You should You should all keep going through life. Life is a pretty sweet thing, even if it's difficult sometimes. Um, you are in this new Star Wars Old Republic game? Yes, I am uh, the um, uh, light side Jedi, or I'm the Jedi character. Chris Randolph, okay, I, these are going very fast. Uh, you have any writing advice? Yes, you should be writing right now and not watching this. Dude, we should take the spicy challenge at Orochan. Uh, yes, I. Yes, the spicy. I was just at Orochan last weekend, and I did not take the full-on spicy number two challenge. Although, I'd be curious to do so someday. How did I come? Well, that's a private story. Where about did you pop up in the first X-Men movie? I heard you had a cameo in it. I am the museum guard that finds the semi-dead Mystique. I say. This one's alive. Let's get him out of here. So that's, you know, uh, an excellent example of my cameo acting. When you got the position, geez, these are going too fast. Uh, is it wrong that I first saw you as Guyver when I was about six years old? Um, it depends on how old you are now. Uh, if if you were six then, then then that seems to fit the space-time continuum. Um, no, the snake voice, did I come up with it at the audition? No, I auditioned with a different voice and developed the actual snake voice in the intervening two weeks before we started the job. And I'm one of the inspirations that makes you want to be a voice actor. Well, that's very kind of you, and it is an excellent job. The people you work with are amazing. How many famous girls you wienered? Oh, a few. Um... Do you ever get tired of being asked to do the Solid Snake voice? No. Would it shock you if I only heard about your work as Solid Snake after watching Gundam? Uh, 0080? No. Wait. Yes. Do the original voice. The original voice was probably more like, 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 like my voice, but maybe a little more serious. Uh, did you ever get tired of being asked to do this? No. You enjoy dicks up your arse. No. Did you did ever want to write the, did you ever want to write yes I would love to write the Metal Gear screenplay if if the companies that are producing the movie can ever work out their stuff Does Hideo, uh, Hideo Kojima hang out with me No but I we do get along very well and I like him quite a bit um, How can I audition to work for Ms Zimmerman I don't know um, try to contact her online find out what she's doing and see if we can get an audition um, uh, you have confirmed the difficulty you play, and if you skip the code paper, I want to know, do you, when you play the game, use the cardboard box? Well, I have used the cardboard box. I tend to mostly get frustrated and just walk into rooms and kill everybody. Um, so, uh, but I try to use all the elements of the game so that I understand what the gameplay is like. Um... What video game am I playing right now? Did you finish Limbo? No. But I did um, 
killed a spider, and uh, that was quite epic. Uh, uh, that happened last night, and the game Limbo is awesome. Have you beaten MGS4 on the Boss Extreme mode? No. Uh, that seems a little frustrating. You want my autograph? Come to Sweden. <laughs> Well, don't they have mail in Sweden? I, I'm, I'm sure the Swedes have an excellent mail service. Uh, are you disappointed that Metal Gear Solid series is over? Um, is it over? You have a PSN address. Uh, no. How did you come up with the voice? You regret the Black Widow film getting dropped. Yes, very much. I, I really loved that script, and I wish I could have done it. Uh, do you think dedicated voice actors aren't given enough recognition for their work? I don't know. Part of being a voice actor is that you are behind the scenes, and we, we realize in that business that it's not quite the same as being on camera, but, um, but you know, we get a lot of fan appreciation, and it's really very sweet. Have you ever pretended to be Wolverine when at home? Uh, yes, quite a bit. Um, if you ever visit Ryerson again, you should be on our web series. Well, I, uh, that's where I went to uh, college, and uh, I would love to do that, so let me know. I'm coming up to Toronto uh, first, first week in September. I may be spending almost all of September in Toronto. Uh, 